Oh, g'day, welcome to Farming Life Australia. Today's the 13th of May 2019 and I finally got back to finishing the job I, start, I started about four, four months ago and um, what happened was we started the job and it absolutely poured with rain and I couldn't get back to it then I went to hospital and um, I've recovered from that operation and now I'm um, now I'm back to the job and um, on my legs and doing stuff anyway here I'm just mortising out the gate post and um, oh, it won't swing off this post this will just be actually where it, where it gets latched to but have a good top rail all the way along because um, uh, what happens is we're, we're going to put wire in and tighten the wires up really tight it's um, stainless steel cable we're putting on and um, it was already here we're just redoing it all and the trouble is because it's got under such tension if you don't have a top rail all the way along to take the compression of the wire put wire it'll um, just pull the post out of the ground eventually because what happens is you put them in uh, they get loose from the tension and then you tighten it all the wires up again and then it gets looser and eventually the post will be laying on the ground if you don't do it properly here I'm trimming up the end of the rail that's going to go in that mortise so I've got to make an end that'll fit in there neatly and um, it'll be wired in to um, keep the post and rail all in place what's happened here is that the end of the ten and the square piece isn't quite square to the mortise and it's making the rail lay over in an angle and I have to take a little bit off that side where the deeper cuts are so I'm just putting a few cuts in there and trying to take a bit off with the chainsaw and then I'll get the chisel and trim it up. Here I'm trying to get the post into the its position and I'm having a bit of trouble or we are not just me we're all pushing and grunting and I finally fell in and the girls pushed it back for me and you can see it fits quite well now so that's really good on the other end where the rails join it's just a uh, just an angle cut and what I'm trying to do is get the angle sort of right and you know, a bit of rough carpentry with a chainsaw trying to actually um, make it all fit good enough and then I'll cob and card all together with wire and I'll show you how. So here we've got it sort of fit and reasonable. I'm just running the saw down the crack to try and, you know, made it up as good as I can. It's not, you know, this sort of carpentry is pretty wild. I mean, it certainly, uh, certainly not you know real flash but you know it, it lasts and it's perfectly good enough for the job so here I'm putting some number eight and Cobb and car on the rail on and you know if it the whole idea of this is if you see there's a step where it's up against the post so and if you see the other side's got a step and that angle now for that to push the whole thing along it's got to uh, well it's got to go it's got to go up that slope of the way the two things join which could have been a bit better or it was a bit wild but it, it's plenty good enough you'll not you'll notice as you tighten this up that it um, pulls the rail down pretty well and I just want to tuck the when after I cut the ends I want to tuck them in well so that they cattle don't get scratched or cut by the ends of the wire okay. 
Well, here I am. I'm going to drill a hole through the thing I thought to wire it down and typical, I break the drill so I'll have to go and weld that up tonight. This piece of cable um, needs pulling along it. The trees grow around it and I can't pull it along by hand. It's, it's where the trees grow and it's too tight. So, and what I need to do is put a loop in the end of it and um, I'll just show you how simple this can be done and um, it's a bulletproof method but it, it looks really um, basic but you won't you, you can't pull it undone it's strong the, the eye of doing it this way is stronger than the wire um, I used cables for years and years in a job I had uh, every day like everything relied on cables and this is how we joined them all together and made all the eyes and all that sort of stuff With some um, threaded rod and a stainless steel link off a chain, I've made some uh, adjustment for the end of the cable so that I can tighten the cable up and have it, you know, really, really tight. Like it needs to be as tight like a guitar string or something like that to um, keep the cattle in properly. So here I've just I've measured the cable and I'm going to cut it off with a cut off saw and then um, splice it. I'm going to try and show you in detail how you do this splice and what you do is you take half the wire, there's six wraps in this wire so I've taken three and I've left the core and plus three others in the other um, pieces of wire. So you keep unwrapping it past where the center of your eye wants to go and you need enough so you can form a loop by undoing two, the two lots of wire and I'll show you how this works. So through the actual chain link you put uh, the three wraps with the center one which is your main one and then you start to put your wire back together in a loop and if you watch you'll see what I mean So basically what you've done is pull the wire apart and put it back together the opposite way it was but it all goes back together the way like perfect just like if you're careful you know you've got to treat the wire carefully and know what you're doing but you put it back together and um, believe it or not it's as strong as any splice it I've never ever broken one ever and I've been made I as I said in my daily work, I used to use them exclusively for years and years and years on, you know, I certainly break wires, but I've never break one at the splice. So sometimes to do this bit, you've just got to muck around a little bit and just see, you know, where it fits together properly. And once you get the idea of how to do it, a little bit of trial and error and um, carefully mucking about, you can make a pretty neat job of it and that bit I'm now finishing the end of it usually all I do is that piece there I just lash it to the where my hand is there I just lash it on so now we've got the cable spliced onto the uh, threaded rod end and I'm um, doing it up tight our helper Liz has um, got the bar stuck through it so that it won't go round and round when I try and 
do it up. And you can see how much tension I'm putting on this and it's certainly having no effect on that splice in a detrimental way. I mean, it's um, it's getting tight and it, it's not worrying at one iota. In fact, the more it pulls on it, the, the tighter it fits in and the better it is. Well, that wraps up another episode of Farming Life Australia. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you next time.